All right, hello everyone, it is Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be unboxing Lost Sphere uh, from Square Enix on the Nintendo Switch. And this is the second game that the people that made I Am Setsuna have made. And once again, it is another nostalgia game where it's a throwback to classic RPGs uh, like Chrono Trigger. Whereas I Am Setsuna, from what I've been told, is more so uh, specifically like Chrono Trigger and is more so like the SNES uh, type of RPGs. Whereas Lost Sphere is more like the um, later 90s uh, PlayStation 1 RPGs. Both eras are pretty much the best um, time for RPGs in my opinion. That's, that's really what I love the most. Maybe more so a little bit on the PS1 side. So I'm even more excited for this game. Um, I have unfortunately heard though that... Um, I'm just going to try to focus this. Um, it isn't as good as I Am Setsuna, like they kind of just throw a bunch of things at the wall and hope that's kind of one of them sticks, which is which is kind of unfortunate because I was almost more even more excited for this than I was I Am Setsuna when I heard that it was more like a 90s RPG. Uh, but I'm, I'm still super excited for this. And, and if, even if there's nothing, you know, new or fancy about that, I'm perfectly fine with just a love letter to uh, old school RPGs. I have to say that I really do love the uh, cover art but I don't really care for the background, like just kind of showing the characters. It, I, I kind of expected a little bit more. So yeah, it's a Tokyo, uh, let's zoom in on that, or focus, Tokyo RPG Factory, uh, the ones that have made this game. Oh my goodness, there we go. Uh, it is one player, obviously. Uh, obviously you can play, well, the reason why I wanted it on this system, uh, more so, that I think it is on the PS4, uh, but I wanted it on this system because I wanted to be able to play it on the handheld. I don't really go anywhere, but I just like being able to play an RPG in the bedroom or, you know, on the couch uh, in, in my hands. I really like that option. Now, one of the things that I was looking at that's interesting here, obviously Pro Controller is uh, available, uh, but the Japanese text and voice English is only subtitles. Does that mean that there's no English voice talking at all? I'm not sure because I have not played I Am Setsuna. Um, and the reason being is because I don't really want the... Um, Focus once again. I don't really want to um, get it on the digital, so I really want to get the uh, physical version of it. Um, but I'd only ha I'd have to get like the Japanese version, which will still work on my um, North American Switch and be in English, uh, playable in English. But still, I'm very glad that they decided to make a North American version of this game. And uh, unfortunately, there's absolutely nothing on the inside. I mean, it's, it's, it seems like it's a limited run game to an extent because you have to get it from the uh, Square Enix store. And there's the little game itself. But yeah, uh, I'm just glad that they, they did release it uh, in North America. Uh, even if it was through the Square Enix store. As soon as I saw that that was an option, I was like, okay, I don't care. I really want this. Uh, I still want I Am Setsuna. I probably will pick it up, like the Japanese version. But I was just holding out for so long because I, I was hoping that they would get a North American version. And they never did. Now that this is out, I don't think that they will actually do that. So this was uh, also one of my top um, top 10 games that I was looking forward to this year, even with all the, the mixed reviews. Um, and I will be releasing that... Uh, very soon, I'm probably, probably going to do that next week, my top 10 most anticipated games for 2018 that we know of so far. Uh, and this is definitely up there. I, I have it numbered. I won't tell you what it is in this uh, video, but it, it is still one of my most anticipated games because I just cannot wait uh, to play like an old school RPG game on the Nintendo Switch. I, I just, there's so many good things there. All right. Thank you all for watching. You've been bearded. Bearded.